Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lonely Artist Podcast. I'm your host, Ariane, and today we have a very special guest, Melly Apt. She is a 22-year-old creator from California. She specifically creates girl love stories and artwork. And today we're going to be talking about her webcomic, Saving You. So grab a coffee and let's get started. My first question, and it's usually the first question I ask everybody, is how did your art journey begin? Um, it all started when I was a child. I've always been one to daydream a lot, so I used to come up with all kinds of stories. And one of them were about my mom. I used to draw her as a kid and come up with all kinds of crazy adventures. So from then on, I never stopped. <laughs> That's so sweet that you drew your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's my first OC oh. original character. <laughs> That's adorable. And And were you able to like continue on with your passion for art throughout school and everything like high school yes totally especially during class I was drawing when I shouldn't have (laughs) I think we all do that (laughs) yeah and so like how did you go from art to web comics like what prompted you to get into the world of of web comics I think it all started for my love for manga and comics in general because before webtoon i would just i i'd actually read webtoon so not on the platform i was looking i was looking for websites to read korean webtoons and i found webtoon and i also saw that you can upload on there so it all started in 2016 back when i was still in high school Wow, you you found out about webtoons like way before I ever did. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's it, so cool. a lot has changed, but yeah, I'm so glad we were all able to upload our stories on there. Well, now knowing this, is there anything you miss about all the web webtoons that you feel like it's missing from the actual webtoons that we have right now? Um, not really. I actually love all the opportunities webtoon has been giving us. Mm-hmm. creators and yeah I think it a lot has improved over the years that's really cool so when you first found out about it did you start uploading things since 2016 yes I did actually oh wow I started comics <laughs> is there it's like... not very good but oh. <laughs> I, it, I learned is, a lot is there like a graveyard on webtoon of all your yes. like, past comics, people just have yes. to like look through and find it somehow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, they're pretty embarrassing, but <laughs> it's what helped me with my current with my current comics. It's what helped me on my journey. Yeah, I mean, I guess we all have to go through uh, trial and error and just experimenting with different stories. So, how did you come up with the idea for saving you? Um. It all started at a cafe, actually. <laughs> I was hanging out with my friends, and we were all drawing. And I was just drawing characters as usual, just random people doodling. And that's when I came up with, like, a little story. Mm-hmm. And uh, the original story was pretty basic. It, it started off with, like, Rosa being June's bodyguard, trying mm-hmm. to blend in with the regular folks and live a normal life at school and with friends. Oh. Yeah, and the, and the very two first characters that I drew were Rosa and June. Really? Who are oh the main God. characters, yes. When was that? Like, how long ago was that? Um, I think it was around 2018. Oh, okay, so I mean, somewhat of a while back. Mm-hmm, yes. That's so cool, and I mean, now it's developed to something else completely, and you've been doing it for such yes. a long time it changed a lot has changed and I'm and I'm pretty proud of it I'm proud of how it all ended up and like now that you've been making comics for such a long time and and especially saving you as well like do you have any favorite part of of the comic making process well I do love writing I love writing the scenarios whether they're happy or sad I just I just love the characters and I love writing I also love coloring uh, I don't like line art, but coloring, yes. <laughs> it, is, it is time consuming, but I find it very therapeutic. Wow, that's like completely opposite of me. I hate coloring, <laughs> but I love <laughs> making. <laughs> yeah, I love coloring. 
And like, are you, would you say you're like an organized or disorganized um, creator? Like, do you follow a schedule? Do, do you just, just randomly do the episode without like writing something beat by beat specifically? Uh, maybe a bit of both. I could be better on my time management skills. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the actual chapters, I do have things written down like scripts. Yeah. And I also organize, I do organize my stuff when drawing. I have like, sometimes I go up to like 500 layers. I have oh, folders. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I but bet I it crashes sometimes. <laughs> yeah, my poor iPad. Oh my god. <laughs> I can only imagine. I would never yeah. dare do more than 100 layers for fear of killing my computer. <laughs> That's wild. I've met some people who like, they make comics, but they don't have a specific script they follow or anything. And I'm just like, how do you not get a panic attack every time you have yeah. to upload something? <laughs> mm -hmm. And what would you say is the hardest thing about being a comic book artist? Well, definitely my time management skills. Because uh, sometimes my personal life gets in the way and I can't always draw mm -hmm. or even read comics like on Webtoon. Yeah. So I feel like I need to work on that. It's um, hard. It's hard sometimes. I mean, they are they are sort of like mm -hmm. watching a show and you have to like set aside some time to like read. Yes. Them, and especially a lot of time to create them. Yes. Because I also set deadlines. Because I don't want to take forever to upload a chapter because I know my readers are waiting. And mm -hmm. I also want to share the story with them. Yeah. So, yeah. Is there any other platform that you upload your comic to that, that you feel like doesn't get as much attention, but you would like to tell people that yes. it's in there? Yes. <laughs> Tapas. Tapas. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's the name tapas <laughs> I don't know because like I always call it tapas or tapastic but I'm not sure yes both <laughs> of them. I think both of them are their names but yes I also upload on there it's a great site there's pretty cool comics there's comics on there that aren't even on webtoon yeah. and I feel like everyone should check it out I know I really like tapas as well I just feel like not a lot of people are in there and they they still yeah. have to they find it <laughs> and I mean you upload it in Spanish and in English right Yes, yes, I upload on Spanish. Is there any other language that you'd like to upload it to or that you'd like people to help you translate it to? Oh, I know Webtoon has the French version. Mm -hmm. I'd love to upload on there. Um, honestly, any, any language in general would be great. So, like, mm -hmm. who are your biggest art inspirations that, you know, have influenced you and your comics? Ooh, as cliche as it sounds, it's anime. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be specific, it's 2000s anime. Yeah, the best mm -hmm. era of anime. <laughs> yes, in my opinion, because I love the, the big eyes and the cell shading. Mm -hmm. And I also love the cutesy visual novel art, you know, the yeah. visual novel games. I feel like the artwork is so beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's so, so satisfying. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there's a specific artist. Her name is. Hiro Suzuhira mm -hmm. and if you look up her artwork there's a chance you'll recognize it because it was very popular in the 2000s yeah super influential mm -hmm. I might have to ask you to uh send that name to me like written down because I'm terrible with remembering names and also if anybody yes, wants yes. to like check them out for real I'll just leave it in the comments yes yes I'll I'll, I'll let you know <laughs> And of course, I understand that anime is a big influence and in, in manga, I'm sure as well, because you can definitely see it in your work. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it like the things that you're doing are so cool. I love to see the transition from when you started to now. It's like a big improvement and it looks so cool. Both ways look really good, but like you can tell you've been more comfortable mm -hmm. with your style and, and the way you visually tell things. Yes, yes. Thank you. I, I love studying my favorite animes and art books I also love studying anime art books mm -hmm. because um certain animes um they make art books art books for it and they talk about the animation process and the storyboarding I love yeah. studying those and yeah pretty much I love studying them and putting them into my artwork yeah do you think like the animation language that you get to learn through those books really comes through and and what you try to do mm -hmm. with your visuals yes definitely I love to watch yeah like I watch some animes and I take screenshots because I love 
the way they like they the camera is set up like it's hard to describe but <laughs> I do take I study I do take a lot of screenshots and study them yeah I mean I feel like you have to if you want to like do certain things that you can't like visually imagine so yes it's awesome to have those references mm-hmm. yes and also because you know this is a place of support I would love to know if there are any like smaller art accounts or web comics that you love and follow but you feel like they don't have as much attention Ooh, yes yep, I love this question okay so the <laughs> first one is bring me love an odd world oh my god <laughs> by the host herself Ariane oh Ooh. stop <laughs> those two are amazing oh my all god of, all of these all of these on this list are amazing thank okay, you okay the second one <laughs> Is Wisher World by Punnoid? Yes, I'm yes! such a fangirl of of her. It's dude. amazing. The artwork is amazing. The story is intriguing. Oh <sighs> okay, I could go on and on about every. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I would here. just like sit and watch her drawings, and I'm just like, how? Mm-hmm. <laughs> But sorry, I'll let you go on with the list. No worries. Um, the next is Zero Two, and I Want to Be Your Wife by Nanami Chan. And they're yes. both GL. I feel like we both <laughs> love all like the same comics. <laughs> yes, yes. Except for mine, because I can be like, oh yes, I love my own comic. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay to love your own comics. They're amazing. They're amazing. <laughs> But everyone you're okay. saying, they're awesome. All of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. The next one is Tropical Rain by Red <laughs> Me. It's another GL comic. Yes. Um, the next one is Surrender Pity. Mm-hmm. It's spelled with a question mark. It's by Noragami X. And the next one is The Adventures of Jam by Matt Galero. Awesome. Please check out all of these stories. They're amazing. You won't regret it at all. They all have beautiful artwork and an interesting story. Please check them out. Please check them yes. out. I recommend them 100%. I feel like you already know what you're doing and you you have like this idea in your head the story and everything but is there like any advice you can give to people who follow you that want to become artists and are just like at the very beginning of their journey Mm, I say to just go ahead and do it even if you feel like your art looks like crap (laughs) because I know I I feel that way um it's all part of the journey you know find inspiration and things you love like movies tv shows even real life itself keep going but also remember to take breaks because you need to relax and you need to refresh your mind and you don't want to injure yourself fantastic advice i love it but also <laughs> your art doesn't look like crap how can you no, no, no. <laughs> this podcast like it, it, self-deprecation comments and things like that they're <laughs> forbidden <laughs> <laughs> so. i feel like i have a lot to improve but i am i am pretty proud of my current art skills at the moment I am proud but there's always room for improvement of course and I mean it is beautiful I completely thank agree you. thank you so much it's gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> but um, I guess we all we all can improve but it's also good to take time to appreciate what you've done and, and you've done such a good job like I love it <laughs> thank you thank you so much And what what plans do you have for the future, if any, regarding like your comic or your your work or social media? Do you have anything mm. in mind? Well, after I finish saving you, I want to keep creating mm-hmm. more comics, more artwork. I hope in the future I can publish my comics into physical books. Yeah, so you can go to a bookstore and find them there. <laughs> when when you do, you have to let me know so I can buy my own copy. That would be so cool. <laughs> Yes, thank you. I'll send them to you. I'll send them to you for free. Oh my god, thank no. You so you, yes. <laughs> Count me as a buyer because I would love to support <laughs> your work. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. After that, you must, you must, must make like figurines of everybody. <gasps> that yes, would be I would love so it. sick. <laughs> that would be the dream because I love collecting figures. Yeah. That would be a dream come true. <laughs> well yeah. make it happen let's all root for you so you, we can yes. make it happen <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> and finally the best question of them all and the last one mm-hmm. if you could have any magical power to help you with your artistic process what would you like it to be mastering anatomy 
feel like I can draw anything if I know anatomy. <laughs> yeah, really? Like even mm-hmm. even backgrounds and things like that? Oh, yeah, backgrounds <laughs> too. <laughs> backgrounds too. And composition. <laughs> Good composition. So basically everything you need to draw. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But my number one would be anatomy. Anatomy. Yeah, it can be hard. Like bodies are so weird mm-hmm. when you think about them. And at different angles too. Yeah. Oh, I hate foreshortening. It's just so oh, hard. It looks so cool, but it's hard. Yes. <laughs> Especially when you're influenced by anime or manga. Like you oh, always definitely. want to do like perspective and foreshortening with your yeah, art. Something dynamic. <laughs> but then you do it and it looks like, what the hell is that? Is that an <laughs> arm? Is that a leg? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I feel you. It's hard, but... I feel like that's a pretty achievable magical art power though like in time you'll you'll make it you'll make it happen that's true that's true I guess backgrounds as well (laughs) yeah because like most people say things like oh yeah I want to stop time so like I can draw forever and and then go back to my life and not waste like hundreds of hours and things like that Mm-hmm. but yours is like okay. the, the first art power that's like kind of grounded like yeah I just <laughs> want to improve <laughs> I just thought of something whatever is on my mind appears on the paper or on my tablet that, mm. that would be amazing that would be so cool mm-hmm. if I could draw it yeah that would be amazing well yeah that one's a little bit more magical that, that one I'll give you <laughs> no, that's an actual <laughs> magical <laughs> yeah. power <laughs> but I, I love both answers and uh, w- they both would be amazing I feel you on the on the first one as well I would love to master anatomy mm-hmm. and perspective and composition maybe we'll get there mm-hmm. together at some point yes 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 we can do this 2022 <laughs> has a lot has a lot in for us <laughs> yeah let's hope it's a it's a better and just wonderful year for everybody mm-hmm well guys that was it for today's interview i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that it was fun for you and i hope to see you very soon for the next episode